greet the doors of Durin, Lord of Moria. Speak, friend, and enter. What do you suppose that means? Oh, it's quite simple. If you are a friend, you speak the password and the doors will open. Okay, so the point of this is you're probably watching this if you maybe you, you know how to install Age of the Ring, um, but you wanted to play it on Game Ranger. And so this is just focusing on Game Ranger um, and, and how to play it on PvP. The most common thing that people find is they've installed it, they can play it offline, but when they get a group of people together, they just and they try and play against their friends or against people online. It launches, you can go into the lobby, but it launches the old version of Age of the Ring. So there's lots of reasons why um, this might be happening for you. The first thing is, have you downloaded the Game Ranger patch? Uh, so let's do that now. Okay, so if you click on the link at the bottom of uh, this video, it will take you to download uh, the link and the file that you need to play on Game Ranger. Um, it will take you to this page, you click on the red button that says download now. Um, it will appear in your downloads, you click on the downloads. Um, for me, I just have to double click it and it unzips. Um, but for you, you might have to seven zip it and, and I extract the files. You'll find lots of other files in there about, um, but you just want this one here, the LOTR BFME 2 EP1. You're gonna copy that. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go open up your C drive, go to program files, you're going to find the Age of the Ring 6.1 file that was created when you installed the game. Uh, and then you are just going to put it here, just in the in the file, not in this folder, but just next to it. Uh, you're going to put it here. Um, and that's all you've got to do for step one. So if you've done that, let's have a look at the next thing it could be. Uh, have you set the new Game Ranger um, file to run as administrator? Uh, it doesn't sound like a big deal, but actually sometimes your computer might be preventing the Game Ranger patch of uh, LOTR BFME 2EP1 from running. Uh, so I, I'm just going to show you how to do that. Um, this is the Game Ranger um, executable that we downloaded earlier. Um, we're just going to right click that. And we're going to go to properties. Um, and it brings up this screen here. We're then going to go compatibility. And we're going to just check that run this program as an administrator is ticked. If it's not ticked, you're going to tick it. You're going to click apply um, and then click OK. And you probably will see this big uh, sort of shield appear. Uh, the third thing to try is have you written the code correctly? Now, this is dependent on where you save the file. However, I'm going to show you a trick uh, to work out exactly what that code looks like and find it really quickly. So let's do that. Right. So when you install Age of the Ring, it automatically puts a shortcut on your desktop. If you right click it and click properties um, and under shortcut where it says target, this is the code that you need. Okay, so C drive all the way up to minus mod or space minus mod. So you can copy that first bit, not including the speech marks. Um, but what I'd like to do just to make it easier is I right click copy um, and then I just put it in a notebook or a notepad uh, just so that um, there you go I've got it all in one place okay so we're going to take that first section of code all the way up just before the the speech marks stop and we're just going to copy that bit this file here Okay, which is C drive, program files, age of the ring 6.1, and this thing which we've been changing the properties on. So we're going to open it. And here it is. Um, and we're going to paste that first bit that we've just copied from this Word document into that top row, the game executable. We're going to leave the middle bit blank, and then we're going to extra flags is space minus mod. And, and we get that. From here we can just copy that in to here basically it's all written here under the shortcut but you must remember that space there's a space here that that's really important and the last thing you do is you click start game and the reason why that's important is because it um, remembers all the code you don't have to fill it in every time there if it starts and it launches the um, if it starts and it launches the uh, Age of the Ring 
on the correct version, then you've done it correctly. Um, and then you don't have to rely on someone else to help you in Game Ranger. You can literally test that the launcher works here. Um, but yeah, that's what you need to make sure that it works and click start. Okay, and uh, last but not least um, is adjusting the Game Ranger settings uh, so that they launch from the correct executable. Uh, now you have two windows, don't you? You have friends and main. So you go to the, um, the main section. You're going to go file, uh, sorry, edit options. Um, now it's already come up automatically, but what you do is just click anywhere on these list of games, then just press T, and it will take you down to T. Uh, then you go find the Rise of the Witch King. Um, and if you look, you need to link it to that Age of the Ring file and your Game Ranger executable that we've just programmed and that you downloaded as well. So you click Browse and you find it, and you find that under Programs 86, Age of the Ring, 6.1, that folder that was made by the install. Okay. Bell.